Good day. This is Kevin Marks, uh, the Vice President of Global Production Print for Bluecrest, and we'd like to welcome our audience today to the CSG case study. I'm delighted to uh, uh, welcome our co-presenter, Ayush Sharan, the Senior Manager for Business Process Optimization at CSG. Ayush, welcome. Hello, Kevin. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. And, and maybe it, it would be valuable to our audience to, from the get-go is to help us understand who is CSG, what is your role at CSG, and more specifically to and toward, uh, tell us about your print mail operations, what you conduct every day. Absolutely, Kevin. Um, so CSG, um, uh, CSG International uh, is based out of uh, Denver, Colorado. We are headquartered in Denver. Um, myself, I'm based out of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, CSG has uh, four print and mail operations uh, across uh, across North America. Um, CSG is one of the top ten. Uh, or 10 largest, one of the top 10 largest first class mailers in the United States. Uh, we are primarily focused on transactional communications uh, in, in highly secure and regulated environments. Uh, as I mentioned, CSG has four uh, production sites uh, and we, uh, we send out over 80 million communi uh, uh, printed communications uh, each month, uh, reaching over almost uh, you know, 25% or a quarter of all U.S. households. Um, and, you know, we are proud to deliver it at a customer uh, or a production accuracy rate uh, across all our four sites uh, of 99.97% or, or higher. Um, we primarily serve customers in uh, telecommunications space, uh, insurance, uh, government, and, and healthcare uh, spaces. Um, as far as uh, as far as my role a little bit, I am, uh, um, as the slide said, senior manager for uh, a group called Business Process Optimization uh, based out of Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, and my, my responsibilities include uh, all things uh, process improvement, um, uh, i.e. I have responsibilities for the industrial engineering team, uh, training and audit functions, uh, change management, uh, and forecasting and capacity planning um, across all our four, uh, four plants. Um, I am responsible for uh, integration efforts as well, uh, and that's when uh, a lot of the partnership with Bluecrest comes into play. They help us see roadblocks, uh, uh, and they help us solve for those roadblocks uh, along the way. They partner with us pretty well, so I work very closely with our Bluecrest partners. Uh, I am an industrial engineer by education, um, and I've been part of CSG for uh, uh, about eight years now. A great foundation that we'll use for the balance of our conversation today. So thanks for sharing. When I think about CSG clearly as a company uh, and specific to the, the method by which you choose to print your communications, uh, inkjet printing, you're not new to this space. You're not new to inkjet and you're certainly not new to transactional communications. Now we know recently your company upgraded your fleet of production printing systems to include the Bluecrest IntelliJet 20 HD color printing system. Uh, it's always important uh, to me and to our clients to understand what were you, as you thought about that investment, what were your objectives? You know, I, I guess using back the DMAIC model is you know, what were you trying to fix, accomplish, or, or avoid uh, as you thoughtfully approached this investment into new technology? Um, yes, that's, that's a great question, uh, Kevin. Um, so I'd first start off with, you know, saying that, you know, migrating an upgraded uh, or to an upgraded inkjet system uh, was a was a key strategic uh, decision for CSG, um, and it and and the decision we made has served us quite well. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, as we think about you know how we deploy the inkjet technology and how it fell uh, in line uh, with our strategy and and helped us move further. You know, we are, are there were a few different reasons. One was definitely productivity gains. Um, you know, which we saw a lot of after switching to these systems. Um, you know, one example are these, uh, you know, the, the offline ink barrels, uh, as, as, uh, as we call them, right? Um, we do not stop these IJ20s uh, beasts, if you will, uh, anymore, uh, unless we run out of paper. Um, you know, which at, again, which, which at 500 feet per minute, you know, that it eats a lot of paper uh, very, very fast. Um, so if you think about it, uh, our downtime associated has gone down uh, significantly. Um, uh, right, it's, it's almost, you know, become zero because we don't have to stop the machine for replacing ink cartridges. Uh, we have seen equipment gains as, 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 you know, as much as 10% when we do our capacity planning associated to those uh, or, or that factor alone. So that's a, that's a huge win um, uh, in, our, in, our, in our bucket. And second of all, um, you know, the, it has placed a CSG in a very strategic manner 
to increase the quality of our print output. Um, our output has become very, very reliable since we switched over to these systems. Um, our reruns uh, in the print shop have gone down, uh, you know, if not completely eliminated. Um, so our, our downtime associated with that um, and the waste associated with that has reduced exponentially. Um, and one thing and one major change we did is uh, we actually eliminated the need for any inline inspection as we developed our, our trust on these uh, systems and the, uh, around the print quality. So huge benefits uh, since we switched over to these, um, uh, these IJ20s. Interesting. And as you've, uh, you know, sometimes the uh, greatest learnings can come as a recap. You know, you had some original stated goals when you made the initial investment. But as you look back, you've identified some uh, areas, for example, inspection, uh, reruns, reprints. Uh, were those part of the original ROI or those, if you will, um, uh, incremental and accretive then? Um, I would say that those were definitely incremental, Kevin. Uh, that is a good point to be to be to be called out. Uh, when we were building our business case and looking at, uh, you know, solutions um, uh, as we got closer to, um, you know, closer to decision making through our RFP process, these would de these were definitely incremental. Uh, you know, sometimes we don't. Uh, companies uh, of our scale don't like to quantify those things because they don't translate directly to a dollar amount uh, that our execs like to see. Um, however, those those are key, right? Uh, for anybody who's been deeply involved with operations, they like to hear those things, right? Reduction in downtime, uh, increase in, uh, in 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 equipment productivity, and elimination of a of a step, right? Those are uh, those are music to anybody who's who's production or process uh, oriented. Um, so a, a big factor with with Bluecrest uh, has been, you know, the, their ability to help us, um, you know, automate processes and systems. Um, you know, one thing is Bluecrest has, uh, you know, showed us, um, you know, the way towards more efficient workflows and workflow solutions uh, that have ended uh, or that have resulted, uh, if you will, in reduced complexity and increased, uh, you know, work cell hours. Um, I'm sorry, reduced work cell hours and, you know, just help drive the non value added um, activities out of our workflow. Um, uh, so all of those factors have, have helped us quite a bit. Interesting. So very important, uh, at least to share with our audience. And, and I wonder um, if you could help us understand, we have positioned ourselves uh, to uh, CSG and to the marketplace as a little different uh, solutions provider. We position with clients the concept of the end to end solutions provider. Uh, and today we have the, um, we're proud and we're privileged to be the supplier for you for your workflow. Or I'm going to say the reciprocal, your flow of work enabling software. Right. Your printing systems and your inserting. Now, as a result, we're a single source provider to you. What have you learned? What does that mean in terms of value? And, and you know, has it created headwinds or, or is it mostly a, a, a positive effect uh, as to present ourselves as a single source provider to CSG? What does that mean to you folks? Right. Absolutely, Kevin. So having a single solution provider, uh, if, if I could put it that way, uh, has has only helped us uh, in, in any way you can imagine. Um, you know, we 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 like to think Bluecrest uh, as our as our partners and, you know, vice versa. And it has positioned both the companies or both the organizations uh, very well uh, to understand and solve for all aspects of, of production. Um, so that includes print and mail finishing uh, together, right? They've helped us identify dependencies based on their technology, based on their equipment and the processes and how they can support to reduce those dependencies and, and streamline our operations, um, you know, understand the impacts of print with mail finishing and, and again, vice versa, right? Understand how we can improve mail finishing if we made some minor changes in print shop, for example. Um, so our, our Blue Crest partners, you know, not only, you know, play a key role in, in highlighting those, uh, those dependencies uh, across our workflows, but they also help us solve for those uh, workflow challenges. Uh, you know, one example is, uh, you know, as we were partnering with, with Blue Crest through the installation of these IJ20 printing systems, they helped us transition uh, to roll to roll. Uh, and pinless inserting. Uh, those were major business cases uh, for our company. And, you know, we, we would not have been successful without the help from, from the Bluecrest, you know, not only the on-site um, uh, maintenance support that we have with Bluecrest, but also the, the subject matter expertise uh, that they bring, you know, being, the, being one of the industry leaders in, in that space. 
um, you know, so as I was talking about the roll to roll and pinless, uh, you know, that was major business cases led to significant cost savings uh, that affected our bottom line directly positively um, and, you know, help improve our productivity in both those areas. So major, major advantage of when I think about Blue Crush as a single uh, solution provider, it's it's a very big value add. Uh, and I think an edge uh, that, you know, Blue Crush has provided, you know, CSG and has positioned us well in in, in our market. Interesting, helpful to understand. So I think about um, when we talk with a client of your size and scope, um, we can generally help on two sides of the equation. We should be attacking every day with solutions that attack the cost of manufacturing. I think we, we're comfortable um, talking about this is not print mail, this is manufacture. Uh, and so uh, I guess our view is if we are truly gonna provide and, and we have to help attack the manufacturing cost. But the reciprocal conversation that's also kind of exciting to understand is with this either lower cost basis or improved margins or the sum of both, how can it help you on the revenue side? So I'm curious about how our, our partnership and our solutions are, and, and can help you either win business, retain business. Help us a little bit about the revenue side of the equation. This is, I mean, it's fun part is the, the, the cost per unit, attack that to boost margins, but can we help you create new business, grow your business. Absolutely, absolutely. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, Bright, I'm an industrial engineer by, by education and you know, that's, that's kind of in my, uh, in my source code, if you will. So I like to talk about productivity gains, but at the end of the day, what matters is how do we translate that uh, towards our bottom line revenues and, and expense reduction. So you know, we can make our, our execs happy and we can make uh, you know, the, the, the stock market happy about, about us as a company. Right. Um, so that's, that's a very good question. So uh, the way I would respond to that is, you know, the way our productivity gains have, have kind of um, folded themselves over, um, you know, and, 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 and helped us position ourselves uh, better in the market. Right. When I think about it, um, you know, the increased capacity. So we, we are at 500 feet per minute, um, you know, and as well as the increased uptime and runtime that I've, that I previously shared with you. Um, you know, CSG has now the ability to onboard additional volume uh, without, without any, um, any further uh, uh, equipment purchase, if you will. Um, you know, with our reliability in, in these systems or on these systems, we have been able to manage our volume spikes a lot easier than, you know, what we had in the past. Uh, again, those two have, have uh, positioned us really well. The other point that I would like to uh, and I can also mention is, you know, the expertise that 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 Bluecrest brings to the table uh, in terms of, you know, manipulation of colors, or as we like to call it, our color management strategy. Sure. Um, right. Customers are are ever increasing, you know, with their ever increasing demands and, uh, you know, pushing us to our boundary, uh, right? With the help of Bluecrest subject matter experts in the color space, we have been able to kind of kind of tackle those challenges, uh, you know, fairly easily. Um, when, I, when I think about those things, you know, better grasp around uh, color management and manipulation, you know, that also has positioned us better in front of our clients. Um, the other and the last one I'll say is, you know, print for us is uh, no longer a bottleneck or a concern, and which is which is a major, right? Uh, in manufacturing, one of the things is if you don't hear about it, it's working just fine, uh, and that's kind of how it has positioned CSG. So, so I, I guess um, not hearing about it is a good thing from a production standpoint. Absolutely. And I know that's not uh, enough for you and your team. And maybe that's a segue to our next uh, question I'd like to uh, pose is, is uh, when we work with CSG, a, a company that uh, in the space that is driving toward metrics and, and a, uh, a, a quantifiable way of measuring success, tell us about your journey toward metrics and how we as a company can help you as you distinguish yourself in the marketplace, you grow top line and bottom line, but in a metrics driven organization. Right, so CSG is definitely very metric driven like, like any other manufacturing um, uh, shop would be. Um, uh, we, we, do, we do have uh, uh, a, a journey we had that, you know, with Bluecrest that we evolved through their partnership uh, as well as, you know, their help in helping their help and assistance in, in letting us understand how we can use the metrics um, to, to our advantage uh, for decision-making and, and things like that. Uh, they've again helped us evolve uh, through that journey. 
both around the use of uh, equipment metrics on the printers as well as the inserters or the mail finishing side of the house. Um, you know, we, we do have very robust KPIs that we partnered with, with, with Lucrez to, to come up with. Uh, we now have a very um, um, regular cadence uh, of uh, monitoring and reviewing, you know, the, the performance of the equipment, performance of the, the on-site customer or the on-site technician support that we have uh, via Bluecrest and things of that nature. Uh, we have robust baseline uh, that we that we constantly evolve um, through our um, uh, through our Bluecrest team members, um, and then we we constantly strive to uh, achieve and then meet or beat those uh, beat those targets. Uh, continuous improvement, I'd say, is is in the essence of our alliance. Um, almost, uh, I can put it that way. Uh, the other thing I would say is, you know, Bluecrest is uh, and us we partner a lot uh, in 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 doing trial or field trials or beta trials for new products. Um, Bluecrest, uh, we are currently doing a, a beta trial with with with, with you guys uh, on a new data collection and reporting tool on the IJ platform. Uh, you know, it's very similar to as you're aware um, um, of what we're used to seeing on the inserting side with the direct view platform. Um, so again, it's you know aimed at collecting the data and and around equipment as well as operator performance. Uh, again, that positions us operationally to make those decisions around uh, productivity um, and 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 management of our resources more efficiently. So, yeah. I would think the period that you guys are operating uh, and all of our clients are working in this COVID uh, environment, uh, operator efficiency, tracking, measurement, availability, uh, perhaps the 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 uh, the inspection in this category has never been more important. What, what's your thought on that? Um, absolutely. So with with COVID, you know, uh, you know, uh, COVID has presented us with new challenges, uh, um, right? And I would like to think of them as you know some opportunities. Uh, mm -hmm. What I will say is, with the dependency and reliance on the tool sets uh, and the and the support that we have with Bluecrest, we have we have been able to uh, you know not skip a beat, if you will, right? Um, I don't think if we had if we didn't have so much automation and uh, you know streamline uh, within our operational workflows, we would have been positioned so well uh, to tackle with 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 COVID. So it has definitely helped us, um, or let me rephrase: it has definitely helped. It has not affected anything that we did pre-COVID versus today. Uh, we still have, you know, all the data that we need. We still have all the factors that we want to capture to uh, to to make those decisions uh, that are key to our operations. Uh, and, and you know, again, we have not skipped a beat. So so the, these these tools have played a, a key and a vital role, um, you know, as we think about the COVID challenges as well. Great, great insight for our audience. So maybe uh, the final question I'd like to learn from you is, um, as a company, uh, again, we wake up thinking about how do we focus on client requirements? Right. We work hard to position products, goods, and services that, that really are designed to consider the end-to-end -end from, um, you know, from print, the workflow, to mail finishing and induction in the mail stream. Right. But it's, it's an ambitious, and, and frankly, it's a differentiated approach to the marketplace, as you know. So, so what's it like to work and partner with Bluecrest? A word that you've used uh, several times and one that we, we think is a standard of care. So what's it like with us? Has anything changed? We're about two years into this uh, partnership uh, with uh, as a new company, I should say, as a new company, right. we're two years in. Right. What's it like to partner with us? What do we do well? What should we you know, focus on improving? I, that's the end of every conversation I have with a client. <laughs> no, that, and that's a very fair question, Kevin. And you know, proud to say that you know we we truly see you guys as as our partners, right? Uh, the first thing I'll say is uh, you know, Bluecrest since the company's been formed, we have not seen we have not seen any change in how we are supported by the company. Uh, you know, if if anything, it's only improved. You know, with 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 constant feedback and and conversations. Um, and you know, let me let me you know, I'd also say that you know, I'm and I'm you know, some days I'm not proud of it, but I think I talk to my Bluecrest partners a lot more uh, than my internal team members, uh, you know, some days. Thank you, I think. Thank you, I think, yes. <laughs> which, is, which is a good thing. That means you're looking at challenges and, and, and looking for opportunities to improve. Um, you know, they, they, you guys have truly earned the, the respect to be our partners is, is how I think about it, right? We see the value and that's why we come to you. I and mean, that's, that's, that's the essence of it. If, if I don't see a value in anything, I'm not going to go to that 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 thing for help in the future. So, um, you know, just then think of it again: solving our existing 
business problems and turning challenges into opportunities um, around efficiencies and standardization is huge. Um, Bluecrest has also helped us in several occasions or on several occasions to identify and evaluate uh, business opportunities uh, that are new to the company. Mm. Um, uh, we have we have asked you guys for help in how our current equipment fleet, uh, with you know, with or without any upgrades, can help us support new products or new product lines for uh, sometimes our existing companies or existing customers, and and in some cases our our prospective uh, new potential customers as well. So we profoundly rely on Bluecrest expertise. Um, you know even for uh, RFPs in when we enter new, new industry verticals. So the partnership is, is truly um, working for us and we only hope to see that it, it grows even further and, and deeper uh, into our, our fabric, if you will. Uh, and you know, we, have, we have enjoyed this partnership. We have uh, gotten a ton of value in terms of uh, um, cost savings as well as additional revenue. Um, so those are all the good things that that any organization would like to see from from their from their partners. So we we truly appreciate that, and um, um, you know, thank you, Kevin, and thank you, Team Bluecrest. Mr. Sharon, I, I'm I've never had a conversation with you that I have not learned some more. So thank you for the gift of feedback. Uh, I'm on behalf of the audience Absolutely. that will see this. Uh, I, I thank you, and um, we congratulate you in current and future success and safety to you and your family. Thank you and have a great day. All right. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, really good talking with you.